Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Adder tutorial, I'm going to be doing a tutorial that I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, and pretty much what this tutorial is going to be about is changing the size of your map after you have started making it. Now, I'm mainly going to be focusing on doing the small to medium to large. I'm not going to be messing with uh, ultra large map or anything like that. Something else that I want to mention before is I'm only going to be covering how to move your landscape to the larger sizes and how to move your objects to the larger sizes. Now I haven't tested it extensively with the other parts of your map but they may work the same way as the ones we're going to be doing here today. So before we start this I just want to do an initial setup and I just want to show you guys just so you know how I'm doing this. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making three maps small and it's going to be a small survival. Then I'm also going to be doing medium. That's going to be a medium survival. And I'm going to be making large. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit all of these maps. And I'm going to add just a little bit of terrain into them. Just enough to where they're recognizable. So first of all, for this small map, I just want to add a few hills. And that will pretty much distinguish this map from the rest of them. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing for the medium map as well. Uh, just going to add terrain. I'm going to be adding the height about the same area, which is actually good practice if you guys are wanting to transfer your map over. And for the medium map, I'm going to do a straight ridge line because I've got to make it a little different from the small ones just so that we can see the small one inside of the medium one when we do eventually do this. And then moving on to the large map, we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to add in the ground. And then in the large map, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an X. Of course, it's not a very good X, but uh, this is just for demonstration purposes, so it really doesn't matter that much. Of course, we want to save all of these and make sure they saved properly. And this brings us to where we actually start manipulating the map files themselves. So the next step is going to require you all to actually navigate to your unturned maps folder. It should look about the same for you guys. Um, so go to this location and you should find them here. And I'm going to be messing with the small map, medium map, and the large map. So first of all, let's go into the small map, and as most of you probably already know, the heights.dat is stored inside of the terrain folder. So we're going to be mainly focusing on heights.dat right now. So the height map itself shows the actual heights, and if you remember, we pretty much made them three small hills, and that's pretty much going to be this right here. What we're going to do is we're going to edit this in GIMP, and you don't necessarily have to use GIMP, but I would suggest using some sort of higher-end Photoshop type tool. Now GIMP, just so you guys know, is actually free. There will be a link for it down in the description. Um, it's really easy to use. I would suggest using this one as your preferred photo editor. And as you guys can see, this height map actually comes up as a sort of colorful little page here. Now what's going to be important is that we go back into the map files and we actually grab the medium one. And we're going to do the exact same thing, open it up in GIMP. And then we're also going to do the same thing with uh, the large one, but we'll do that a little bit later. So as you guys can see, uh, up at the top, it shows some information about the picture we have open here. We've got the name, we've got some of the other information about it. But the main thing we need to pay attention to is how many pixels it is. So this map file is 257 by 257. And if we compare that to the smaller one, the smaller one's 129 by 129. So as you guys can see, there's a big difference between the two. Now what you need to manage to do, I'll show you guys how to do it in GIMP, but what you have to do is copy the heightmap.png on top of the other larger heightmap.png. And this is the one from the medium map, so you're gonna copy the smaller one right on top of it. Now this is very important that you pretty much leave it in the center if you want your small map to be in the center of the medium map. Otherwise it's gonna be off. And so pretty much at this point, if you guys can see, there's overlap in green here and uh, what you're gonna need to do is get rid of the layer underneath so that might sound a little complicated but if you're using GIMP just follow the steps real closely so first of all click on the floating layer selection hit new layer that'll get it on its own layer then what you're gonna want to do is use the selection tool over here the square one and you're gonna want to drag out a box that's the exact same as the border of the pasted layer now what you're gonna want to do is click the height map.png click the erase tool go over here to hard edge make sure that's checked make sure the size is up somewhere pretty large as you guys can see a little bit there's a large circle here and then just erase all of that and it should become the same color as it was before with the addition of these extra small hills and any other landscape you guys added yourself so at this point uh, we could save it but I'm not going to for the sake of time what you can do with GIMP at least is you're going to want to replace 
this new hype map png with the old one from the media map so all you have to do in gimp is go over here to file and overwrite hype map png now at this point we have just overridden the unturned map file and actually it has taken place immediately and if we go back into unturned right now we will be able to see those changes just as we had changed them so let's go back into the editor uh, let's go back to medium and go back to edit and we should now see the heights of the small map inside of the media map and as you guys can see it worked perfectly we now have the three small hills from the small map and they're inside the medium map and as you guys can see the outline and the two straight lines from the media map are still here so this is gonna work very consistently and it's gonna work pretty much every time you do it it's not failed on me yet so this should be a pretty reliable way of doing it and I don't think Nelson is gonna change the mechanics about the heights so that should continue to work throughout most of the upcoming updates. We can pretty much repeat the same process for the larger map file. So let's go back into here and let's go into the large map file. Let's grab the heights.png and let's edit that with GIMP as well. And as you guys can see, this is the large one. It's 513 by 513. Now we're gonna do the exact same steps as before. We're gonna take everything in here and we're gonna need to copy it onto the larger map. Now, the thing about this that is a little different is if you have multiple layers, you're going to want to merge them. So you're going to right click and merge down. Now, there are other ways of doing this, but uh, that's pretty much the main way you're going to want to do this. Also, in GIMP itself, you've got a selection. You're going to want to hit select none, and that'll get rid of any sort of lines on the screen itself. Then, pretty much do the exact same thing as we did before. Click on the layer, copy, which is control C go over to the larger height map here and then control V which is paste that'll put it exactly in the center just like it was before uh, you actually do have some flexibility I'm just gonna repeat the steps as I did before so click on the floating layer hit new you'll get a new pasted layer and then what you guys can actually do is you can move this layer around so if you have it selected and then you click down here you can actually move it around with the arrow keys and as you guys can see I'm moving it around now what you can do with your smaller map files is you can move them to different locations around the map. Now the issue with doing this is that when you copy the objects over, it's not going to copy exactly to the same location. So it's better to leave it in this very center of your map, but you actually don't have to. So if you guys have moved that around and you really don't want to, one you can redo the steps or you can use the alignment tool over here and pretty much just click on the layer, click on align to center of target and align to middle of target and what that'll do for you is it'll put it in the very center again so just like we did before we're gonna do the same steps over again and we're pretty much gonna get the selection tool make a box around the exact outside and then we're gonna erase the inside now as you guys may have noticed my box wasn't perfect and that is completely fine because what you can do is you can adjust it and put it right over top again so it's very important that you make sure that you don't mess up this part you want to make sure that the box is overlapping perfectly otherwise you're gonna have some glitched up maps when you're done with this so then once again click on the larger height map not the pasted layer and delete everything and as you guys noticed it's deleting some of the colors that were there before this is kind of unavoidable uh, you can try to unavoid it by erasing only parts but you need to be very careful with that and you know sort of do that at your own risk so then once again if we scroll back out um, everything looks about normal. None of the colors seem very weird. And what we can do is just overwrite heightmap.png. And that should give us a new layout for our larger map. So let's go test it out. Go back into the workshop and editor. And let's edit the large map. And we should now see both the heights of the small map and the medium map inside of our large map. And as you guys can see, uh, that is exactly what happened. So we've got the lines from the medium map, we've got the hills from the small map, and we've got the remnants of the X from the large map. Now as you guys will have noticed, uh, the X from the large map is actually deleted from the center, and that's because we replaced it with the heights of the other maps. So that's kind of unavoidable. Um, you can sort of work with Photoshop or whatever you're trying to use to try to keep that from happening, but it's kind of hard to do. So, you know, do it on your own time, do it at your own risk you may not be able to fully recover that area. Also something to notice is as we deleted those areas it created this nice sharp boundary here. You definitely could mess with this in the future if you wanted to customize your own maps this way but uh, you will have to smooth this back out. The nice thing is it will smooth back like normal 
and you know it, it really doesn't leave a big dent or anything like that that you can't fix all right so that's pretty much it for getting the heights over but we haven't talked about any of the objects and transferring those over as well so let's go back into the small map now that we've sort of transferred all the rest of this stuff over and let's start transferring objects over now in order to transfer objects in the first place I need to place some so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place in a few large objects a few that I'm gonna use is rig and I'm gonna place maybe a couple of those so as you guys can see it's a large object it's really easy to see and that's pretty much why I'm using it I'm gonna place three of those one by each of the mountains and as you guys will see as we copy them over they'll pretty much stick with the terrain as we copy them over once we place them down make sure you save of course uh, exit and then you're gonna to wanna to head back into the map files themselves so once we're in the map files uh, we're gonna to wanna to navigate to the small map then we're gonna to wanna to go to level and then objects.dat. This is the area that all your objects are stored for the current map. What we're gonna wanna do is copy this, and then we're gonna replace the one in the medium map with the one from the small map. And what that'll do is that'll replace all the objects in the medium map and put the smaller objects from the smaller map inside of the medium map. If you're wondering, this will get rid of all of the objects you have placed in the medium map. So be very careful in the order that you do this. Once we've replaced that file, all we have to do is go back into the medium map and we should see them now inside of the medium map. All right, so there's the oil rigs. As you guys can see, uh, they're, they're in place and it's pretty much all good from here. Uh, pretty much what you can do in the medium map is add more materials if you really want add more objects so let's add maybe a couple other large ones maybe like an aircraft carrier we'll just do the exact same process make sure you save if you add anything then we're gonna go back into the map files copy the level.dat from the medium one so we're still in the medium folder as you can see and then we're gonna move those all the way to the large one once we replace them in the large one, all we have to do is go back to the map itself and they will be already in the large map. And that's going to pretty much do it for this map editor tutorial. Now, as I said before, I haven't messed with any of the spawns and environment and materials and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure they're going to copy over almost exactly the same. That would be something for you guys to try. And, you know, if you guys are really requesting that, I can do another video on that in the future. But at least to get you started working on a larger map that is a previous version of your smaller one, this will definitely get you started. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all.